Welcome back, welcome back, YouTube fam, to the doghouse. We back at it again with another video. Man, I just want to tell y'all, this is a this is a sweet video right here. This is gonna be a sweet video right here. This is almost un this guy is almost unheard of that we're gonna be talking about today. His name is Sam Bush. He wasn't highly recruited, he don't have any stars, or anything like that. He wasn't talked about as much, you know what I mean? But I just came across this guy and I just came across his highlights, man. He's a, he definitely a Georgia boy. He he was born in Athens, you know what I mean? He's 5'11 and 185 pounds. Now, I know that don't sound like much, but judging by his high school highlights, man, this dude seems like a dog. Now, I'm not saying that this is who we need to go with or anything like that, but the fact that he's on our roster and he's playing like this, man, this dude is incredible, man. When I tell you, he's definitely one of those guys. And, and look at it. Look, Just think about this. The guy that we won two natties with, he was not a, a, a five-star guy or, or a four or even a four or three-star guy. So y'all gotta understand, you know, it's not always about the stars. And with this guy right here, man, hopefully we get to see him at some point at Georgia because he is super, super talented. But I don't want to talk y'all heads off about it. I want to get straight to the video. Now, when like I said, you know off the first play man this guy is definitely a dual threat um he, he he's 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 one of those type of guys he remind me of like a bryce young i'm not even gonna lie to y'all bryce young was only 510 you know what i mean but bryce young was highly recruited so that's why he had so much of a buzz around his name look at this guy man he can throw man dude is a dog man look at him man just look at this video and you and tell me is was Georgia hiding this dude or what? Like we don't e we haven't even heard about this guy. Now I know some people have heard about him that keep up with the dogs, but as 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 uh channels that coverage the Bulldogs, I feel like channels need to cover everybody. Now it's gonna be hard to get to every single player, but some players like this, how did we miss this guy? Sam Bush, how did we miss him? Look at that, man. I mean, he making he he's making deep throws, and of course, is he these are high school highlights, but if he get developed in the right way and he get it developed as well as Stetson Bennett, dude is like Stetson Bennett 5.0. I would have caught gave him 2.0, but I had to give him the 5.0, man. Like the Ford Mustang. I had to give him that 5.0. Look at this guy, man. Quick with his legs. You know what I'm saying? Got a good arm. I don't know how deep he can throw or not, but it seems like he can throw very deep. Like, um, I'm very excited about this guy. Like, nine times out of ten, he probably won't get the chance to play. Uh, maybe, you know, fourth quarter or something like that. Or if somebody ends up getting hurt, God forbid it. But look at that. Look at that play. Uh, it, hey, he made some, he definitely made some Bryce Young type of plays. I don't mean to keep bringing up Bryce Young. But Bryce Young was a hell of a quarterback in the NFL. I mean, in the NBA. I mean, in college football. I'm sorry, y'all. But yeah, he he made those type of plays, man. And I'm like, I'm very excited about this guy. Like I said, I know we probably won't see him. You know, um, he's one of the shortest guys, if not the shortest guy. I think he is the shortest guy on the roster. But you know, like I said, Stetson Bennett was like 5'11". Uh, Bryce Young was 5'10". Now, Bryce Young ain't doing very much uh, in the NFL, but he was a hell, of, a hell of a quarterback in college football. So, wow. This guy's good, man. I, I just don't understand why why we haven't heard nothing from this guy. Like, you know, that's why it's good to do your own research, man, because sometimes if you're not a five-star, four-star guy, uh, even a three-star guy, you won't be heard of, man. Sometimes they're kind of, you know, uh, you get overshadowed by all of the hype of the other quarterbacks on the roster. But he's one of the guys that I feel like we need as far as the future future quarterbacks he may not be we may not get to see him start at georgia but this is the the style of quarterback that we need at georgia definitely if you look at any other team versus or whether it's the college football or nfl man most quarterbacks the new wave is to have a dual threat quarterback that's how you how you think we was able to win two natties back to back if you think about it <laughs> stetson bennett was a dual threat man he, he he made a lot of plays with his legs I think that sometimes Georgia got to get out of the get out of that pocket passing error. That error is gone. Look at him. He's taken out, man. This dude is a dog, man. He would definitely be a threat to defenses. He would definitely be a threat to opposing defenses with them legs. 
We got to have a guy like this. I know Ryan Puglisi, um can use his legs a bit. I know Gunnar Stockton can use his legs a bit, but um, Jaden Rashada, I'm not sure as much about him. I haven't seen him use his legs as much. But this guy right here, he doesn't need to get put in the shadows. Like, you know, he needs to be – people need to start talking about this guy. I know he's only 5'11 and 185 pounds, and that that's not, you know, your ideal uh, uh, height or weight of a quarterback. But, I mean, he can – he look at him. I mean, yeah, this is, you know, against high school-level players. But, like I say, if he get developed like a Stetson Bennett, like this guy can work wonders for us at Georgia. And it's, I mean, and I know y'all probably see a lot of a lot of his run plays and a lot of his run highlights, but like I said, this is the era. This is the era of a dual threat quarterback. So not only will they have to be able to throw, they're gonna have to be able to run as well. And if we're gonna be a high powered offense, we're gonna need a quarterback that's going that's able to use his legs. Like I say, everybody damn near in the NFL and everybody damn near in college football. Wow, look at that. <laughs> like I said, it's, his, it's, it's high school level playing, true enough. But, you know, getting to, the, getting to the college level and getting developed by coaches like what we have, we definitely can develop him and get him to the point where he could play for us. You know, gain a little more weight. You know, not too much weight, but, you know, just a little more weight. I mean, he's at, he's at a def, decent size for his height. So you don't want him to gain too much weight because then he'll be overweight as a quarterback. We need, that's the worst thing we want to see is an overweight quarterback. Like I said, we probably won't see this guy um, being that, you know, he he he's not a highly recruited guy. He's, you know, 5'11", 180 pounds. We probably won't see him. But then again, you know, they told Stetson that also, you know, they told Stetson that he probably wasn't going to start for Georgia. But you see what ended up happening. You know what I mean? And that's what I don't like sometimes when it comes to Kirby. You know, I, I I I don't like his choice or, or or you know, good play, good play. I don't like his I don't like how he choose you know his choice of quarterback. Sometimes you see what happened with Justin Fields and and um um I be want to say J T. Downing, but Jake Fromm. You know, he started Jake Fromm over uh, Justin Fields. Justin Fields went over to Ohio State and just worked wonders over there. And you know, I don't think that Kirby wants to continue to make that mistake. But you know. Um, just like when he started Dewan Mathis, um, when, when JT Daniels got hurt, and he started De Dewan Mathis. Dewan Mathis had the, the physical, he was physically built for a quarterback. He had the height, he had the size and everything. So he, he went on along with, you know, the um, scholarship quarterback, which is, which is you know, the reasonable thing to do. I, I can't really um, judge him on that. I'm not going to say that he made a bad judgment or a bad call on that situation. But you see how Dewan Mathis turned out. He became, he was a dud. And Stetson had to come in and ultimately uh, uh, um, walk on quarterback had to come in and, and, and show out and do his thing. Now, now, even when Stetson came in his first game, he wasn't doing what, you know, we would like him to do or our standard. But we won two natties. <laughs> we won two natties with him. Look at him. Gone. Like I said, this guy is a dog, man. He, he's definitely, he caught my attention. I was not going to do a video, but I just had to put this out there because I feel like, Georgia, what, why are you not talking about this young man? Yeah, he's small, but why are we not talking about this young man? This Look at this young man highlights. From his highlights, he should be talked about. He has better highlights, in my opinion, of everybody on the roster right now. In my opinion, he has, he has better highlights of every quarterback in the quarterback room on our roster right now. I'm going to just be honest. If not the second to the best highlight, the second to the best probably. Um, I think Ryan Puglisi was is like number one as far as in my opinion on on the roster. Ryan Puglisi and Ryan Montgomery. I just think this dude here, he just reminds me, like I said, so much of a Bryce Young, a guy that a guy that can make plays on a run, a guy that can make like plays out of nowhere, and and I feel like this is what we need in order to get to that next level for Georgia. I don't think we're gonna get to a the, the next level if we keep recruiting guys like uh, Carson Beck. Even though I like Carson Beck, Carson Beck is not the type of quarterback that we need in this era of football nowadays. But as y'all can see, man, this this these highlights are incredible, man. Like this dude should be talked about a whole lot more. You know what I mean? Um, 
Hopefully we do get to see him, man. Hopefully we get to see him. I know we probably won't, though. Let's see this play. Look at that. See, this is what I'm saying. That play, that play right there is what I mean by he reminds me of Bryce Young. Them jump passes, we don't get that at Georgia often. You know? And he's going to run. That's my thing. He's going to run. He's going to – it's not like a situation where, you know, he's going to try to slide. And this ain't no diss to, to Carson or anything. But, you know, this is not a situation where he's going to try to slide – to you know and hopefully get the first down or anything like that no this guy is gonna get there you know he's 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 playing hard he's playing like a hard georgia boy and that's what i like about him you know what i mean i i, I for some reason man i just feel like sometimes you know at georgia we look for the fun of this that we still going with the fundamental way of playing games and i feel like that's overrated that's done you know what I'm saying? It's time to get a dual threat quarterback. Somebody that can go downfield. Somebody that can use his legs. It's time for that. We're overdue at this point. You know, we had it with Stetson true enough. And like I said, once again, I'm going to keep reiterating this. That's why we won two natties back to back. Of course, we had an incredible defense, but we had a quarterback that was able to throw and use his legs. Let me know down in the conversation what y'all think about this video, what y'all think about his highlights. How do y'all feel about Sam Bush? You know what I mean? He's from Georgia. He's from Athens. You know, like I said, let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about this guy, because I honestly think he's a good asset to the team. So y'all let me know what y'all think.